Hey guys, today we're doing the bouncing betty. So it's the mine Call of Duty that when we get close or an enemy gets close, it goes up and then it explodes like that. So you can edit the height uh, logically and let's see it a couple more times. So something I need to tell you at first. This one is the logic to place the claymore. You should watch it in the previous tutorial. It's the same thing, but instead of a claymore reference, we have a bouncing Betty reference. So, yeah, it's exactly the same thing, but with a different actor. So, you should watch the previous tutorial. I'll have it linked in the description as well. So, the only thing that, that changes is our bouncing Betty actor, which is pretty simple. It's like a cylinder with a Z scale of 4.1 and uh, then a sphere collision. So the character can step up. Uh, we have set this to O, and the collision preset is set to overlap everything along with generate overlap events, of course. And now, when it gets enabled, we start checking for collisions with the sphere, and if we detect a collision, we do something once. Now, why do we do it once? Because we don't want our timeline to get fucked up and play three different times with five different tempos. So, yeah, the timeline just adds a location offset to our actor, so it goes up, and then uh, after it's finished, then 0.2 seconds have passed, so it floats a bit. The extra gets destroyed, and there you should put your explosion logic. And here as well, you should put your checking logic for the, uh, for example, do not trigger it if the owner is the player who triggers it. So unless it's hardcore or whatever, let's get um, an insight on our timeline. So of course we'll play it from start and. We have a float value, which is, uh, I've named it Z offset, and that's basically it. So, the length is 0.2, I found out it works nice for me. We start from 0, then we progress to uh, time 0.1, which is in the half. We kind of accent higher, you can just like have it like that, or even like this if you want. Uh, I don't care whatever fit you need. So it's supposed to land faster from the ground and then kind of descend due to gravity. And we reach the value 1 on 0 0.2. So we then multiply it because it's a normalized value. And I've said uh, to you many times in previous tutorials normalized values are a good thing. So we can then just mess around with the multiplier without changing our timeline. So for example, if I set this to. 17 it's going to go even higher <coughs> so if i place it it's going to go whoop right there if i set this to let's say 30 it's going to launch up in the sky yeah you can't see it obviously because it's going way up so Mess around with the values as usual, add your own logic if you want, uh, and see you next time, thanks for watching, be sure to watch my other tutorials, and especially the Claymore tutorial which teaches you the basics of planting the actual mine.